Hi everyone, here's a quick guide on the commandos in Bazooka's attack style, otherwise known as Kami's and Zooks, or CNZ. This attack style is going to be your go-to from Global Age onward. I'll walk you through the basics of what you'll need, how you'll execute it for raiding in World War attacks, and then at the end of the video, I'll show you some clips where we put it all together. For this attack style, you'll need Kami's and Zooks. I'm currently running Germans in Atomic Age, and I run 9 to 11 commies with 14 to 18 zooks. Fighters. Run all fighters in your airstrip. In my experience, there isn't really another alternative. You're also going to want some foot soldiers. These are for cleanup duty and baiting resistance troops. More on this later. You'll want a few of them. I'm running 11 right now, but this number is also personal preference. Lastly, and most importantly, practice and patience. This is not an easy attack style to master, so please be patient with yourself. For everyday raiding, our goal is to minimize troop loss and maximize how much we can raid. First, find a dirty base. This is a base where all the traps have been triggered. Dirty bases minimize the chance you'll have some random units dying on traps. When you found your base, drop commies around the perimeter in a clockwise or counterclockwise order. With your fighters, clear the first wave of troops that spawn. You'll generally want to do this in the same order you dropped your commies. If you dropped them clockwise at 12 o'clock, you're going to want to deploy your fighters clockwise starting at 12 o'clock. By design, the first wave of troops always spawns the fastest, so be ready with your planes as soon as possible. If you're attacking a Korean, Chinese, or British base, keep your eyes peeled for their command post troops because their unique units can eat through your commies and zooks if you leave them unchecked. Also, if the base you're raiding has resistance research, watch out for the armory, because it will also deploy the country's unique unit once it's destroyed. Drop your zooks. Generally, you want to drop them evenly around the perimeter of the base. After dropping your zooks, you can expect to get the 50% quick victory star very soon. Keep using your fighters, to clear enemy troops when you see them attacking your commies. Drop your foot soldiers near factories to check them for resistance troops. With resistance research, the factories will spawn heavy tanks, which will eat your zooks alive. That's why you use foot soldiers to destroy the factories and lure them out. Foot soldiers retrain in a matter of seconds, so it's much better to lose a few of them than to lose a zook. Kill the tanks with your planes once they spawn. Usually, a quick double tap for two planes on each tank will kill them. From here on, you're basically coasting to a 5-star attack. Use speed rallies and deploy your fighters to clean up the rest of the mess. Notice that when you're raiding, this attack style doesn't require any alliance troops, mercenaries, or war tactics. If you're just starting out with this attack style though, feel free to bring along whatever you want for help. But just know that mastering this attack style will get you the most resources for the smallest cost. Now let's go over how you'd run this composition in war. In war, our priority is speed. So don't worry if you end up losing troops. To succeed with this composition in war, you need to be comfortable using decoys. If you're not, go practice with them and then come back to this section. You're gonna use the same army you used for raiding, but in addition to that, you're going to need war tactics. You're going to want the Blitzkrieg from Brandenburg Gate and Strength of the Gladiator. This, this one's kind of optional, but it's from the Colosseum. From your war academy, definitely bring decoys. These will be your most important tactics. Bring at least two or three. If you're just starting out with this attack style, bring only decoys, though other tactics you could opt for are betrayal and sabotage. For mercenary troops, Use tank destroyers or heavy tank destroyers. For your alliance troops, you can bring heavy tanks or a combination of commies and zooks. For coalitions, there's only really one way to go. Ethiopians, Americans, and Aztecs. Though Aztecs are a little more optional. Obviously, you'll want your strongest generals. And finally, troop tactics, which are optional. You should bring some just to be safe though. Now for the attack. First, Use a decoy to trigger the first wave of enemy troops. You might need to use two depending on how the buildings are spaced. 
You can also use foot soldiers to trigger troop spawns if the buildings are in deploy range. Let's call this decoyed wave of enemy troops meat. Second, deploy your meat grinder. These will be heavy tanks if you have them as donated alliance troops, your mercenaries, then your generals. You're going to deploy them in some far corner of the map. The meat will all aggro toward your meat grinder and start marching toward them. Third, drop your commies the same way you did in multiplayer raids. Once you drop the commies, use your blitzkrieg to disable the troop spawning buildings. Do this third step fast. Now, go back to your meat grinder and drop a decoy in front of them. Use planes if you need to, to kill off the meat. Use however many decoys you need to kill all of the meat. Also, use your strength of the gladiator on the meat grinder if you have it. It's extremely important in this step that the meat grinder kills all of the meat. If the meat kills the meat grinder, you are going to be in a lot of trouble. So now that your meat grinder has survived, drop your zooks around the perimeter. This is the same as it was in multiplayer raiding. And finally, you can use fighters to clear out the rest of the troops that are attacking your commies and you close in on that 50% quick victory. Spend the rest of the battle protecting your commies and zooks with planes and you're going to be on your way to a clean 5 stars. Oh, and don't forget to throw in some speed rallies for a better attack time. Now you'll find that there will definitely be exceptions to these rules, and there are small nuances here and there, but these are the basics for the Kamis and Zooks attack style. It's incredibly powerful, and it's resource efficient, so definitely give it a shot. And let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I'll end this video with some uninterrupted clips of this attack style. Good luck out there, and have fun.